In this video, I will test out two brand new pairs of Hocus for my upcoming four consecutive Caminos beginning 1st of April from St. Jean Pied de Port. Hocus are a very popular brand worn by many on the Camino. I walked with people that said it was their favorite shoe, but which one? Hocus make a lot of different shoes which is the right one for the Camino Frances? The shoe on the left is a pair of Speed Goats 5, and the one on the right, Anacapa Gore Tex, both brand new when we started in St. Jean Pierre de Port. This is taken in Sarria. After 700 kilometres, the Speed Goats will be lucky to arrive in Santiago in one piece. Unwrapping the Hocus Speed Goats 5. Weight 280 grams per shoe, a heel to toe drop of 4 millimeters, and Hocus extremely popular Vibrant Mega Grip outsole with 4 millimeter lugs. With their Vibrant colors, they really stand out. Hopefully, they will feel as good as they look. Hoka Anacapa Low Gore-Tex Weight 380 grams. <clears throat> they are extremely comfortable with their cushion rocket soles. Again, the popular Vibrant Mega Grip outsole, but this time with 5mm deep tread on the lugs. The midsole is 5mm heel drop. Wider platform gives the shoes great balance. And the wider platform on the Anacapa can be appreciated when the two shoes are side by side and looking at them from behind. This is the Anacapa Gore-Tex that I used for my two Caminos last August and September. They tallied up 1,000 kilometers then and since I have used them for training they now have 1,500 kilometers and still feel incredibly comfortable. And looking at the three shoes side by side, my old Anacapa Gore-Tex wide platform is even wider as it has worn down but it has given me great stability. Experienced hikers swear by a two pair sock system that includes a thin inner sock liner and a thicker outer wool sock. The inner sock reduces the friction with your foot and wicks away the moisture. The outer layer absorbs the moisture and provides insulation and cushioning. In gingy toe socks are gloves for your feet. They wrap each toe individually, eliminating any skin on skin contact, keeping you from getting any blisters between toes. I have also used in the past armor skin liners.
well straight away I can feel the lightness of the shoe those hundred grams difference just feels as if you're wearing nothing and good cushioning as well not bad straight out of the box Oh, they feel super light as if you're wearing absolutely nothing in your feet and the cushioning is tremendous I'm wondering whether or not these speed guides can do the whole Camino from this I might change my mind I love my Anacapa. These speed goats are tremendous. It's a month since I dislocated my shoulder and I've had had it in a sling for about three consecutive weeks and uh, unfortunately I have to put it back on I can't do the whole walk without it I sometimes need it maybe for an hour or two so um, it's still another month before I head off to Spain so um, I'm hoping that it will it will get better <laughs> you always have to smile um, if not I will just have to wear it wear it as I uh, as I walk I might not have to wear it all the time but I might have to wear it for an hour or two and there's always the option of uh, Correos uh, pack mochila to send the uh, uh, your pack ahead so you don't have to carry your backpack that's one of the many options anyway we shall see until then always keep smiling All right. well it's not easy here uh, having to do things with uh, with just one arm but you just learn how to cope I, I really try to smile right through that uh, that segment uh, where I was forced to uh, unfortunately uh, have to put uh, the sling um, I'm a month a month out from having a shoulder dislocation uh, I'm doing a lot of physio in an awful lot of pain and unfortunately the sling is still part of the recovery and I will definitely have to wear it when I go back to Spain in about a month's time to do four consecutive Caminos. Those four Caminos will be starting from Saint Jean Pier de Port uh, on 1st of April, the Camino Frances, then the Camino Inglés from Ferrol, the Camino Invierno from Ponferrada, and then the Camino Portugués from Tui doing the uh, Senda Espiritual. A total of four Caminos, about 1,400 kilometres, if the shoulder allows me to. Okay, this video is more about uh, uh, Hocus on the Camino. And um, I must say that both Hocus were tremendous. Uh, the old trusty Anacapa, which I used last year um, for 
two Caminos. Uh, I did a thousand kilometres with it. Um, were fantastic. And since I've been back, I've been using it for training and I've put on more than 1,500 kilometres on the same pair. I must admit, I will go to that to do the Camino Frances, the 800 kilometres to begin with. The Hoka Speed Goats, again, fantastic. Both of them, straight out of the box, great spring. The Speed Goats, extremely light extremely light um definitely i will use them for the other three caminos i will use them for the camino inglés uh, the camino de invierno and the camino portugués from tui um all up uh, 600 kilometers with it and i will do another video when i come back um just to give you the results on it so 800 kilometers that i will do with the anacapa and 600 kilometers that I will do with the speed goats. And I will keep you updated. Till then, hopefully the shoulder will get better. Buen camino.